Have you started the season the way you were hoping to? Yeah, I think we're, we put our good, uh, ourselves in a good spot uh, up until now. So there's still, obviously, it's just such a long way to go. So just uh, regroup today, uh, look at the areas we can get better, and another challenge tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, c continuing to work at it. Uh, I think uh, trying to do good things at both ends of the ice. Uh, just continue to find uh, different ways to be productive, uh, be efficient, and and um, be consistent. I think it's the most important thing. Continue to work at being consistent and playing at a high level, night in and night out. So uh, that doesn't stop. So how did you make what you saw with Dion here in the last few days? It was excellent. Uh, obviously, he uh, spent a lot of time here uh, being a captain as long as he uh, he was. Um, the way he played the game, and I think uh, I got to know him uh, one World Championships and, and uh, bumping in uh, bumping into him over the years. Uh, just a tremendous person. Uh, cared about his teammates uh, tremendously, so I think that was uh, evident by the way uh, was highlighted yesterday. And, and uh, great to him, uh, great for him and his family to kind of have a few moments to uh, look back and appreciate a uh, great career and then to be honored here. How did you end up uh, as part of the Lululemon Olympic photo shoot? <laughs> yeah, I got uh, some good ribbings in the room on that one. So uh, I just just got asked, uh, you know, being a former Olympian, and then obviously hopefully having a chance this time around. And uh, obviously uh, Lululemon, a great Canadian brand, and then have uh, have the opportunity to be. Um, um, you know, the official apparel for uh, for the upcoming Olympics. Got asked about it and I uh, uh, thought it was a cool opportunity and I said, why not? What's the other about it? Did you, was it a weird experience? Like, what was it like? Yeah, it's not my forte, I would say. Uh, keep my day job, that's for sure. Uh, so just, you know, it was a, it was a different opportunity, something uh, pretty cool and uh, being at the Olympics before and hoping to, hoping to be a part of it, uh, obviously again this year. So um, yeah, it was, uh, it was cool being asked, got to meet some, some of the other great athletes and um, and then, you know, hearing about their stories, striving to be, be in Beijing. So um, yeah, it was just a cool opportunity. What way do, you mentioned the Olympics a lot, it's, it's obviously means a lot to you. In what ways does it motivate you? Because obviously you want to get there. Do you feel like you're even driving even more? Like, how would you describe the burn that you had? Um, I don't think it changes uh, the way I approach uh, uh, what I'm trying to do here. And I think trying to worry about all that in one, I think just kind of takes the mindset and, and, and the focus and the energy away from just taking care of what you need to hear uh, with the Maple Leafs and the way I have to play and, and my responsibility and my role. And knowing if I just do that and do it at a high level, um, be consistent, you know, give myself every opportunity to be there. It's, it's obviously an extremely difficult team to make. So, um, you know, I, I just, it's its a, such a rare opportunity, such a unique opportunity. Uh, it was amazing in Sochi. Obviously, from a personal standpoint, it didn't end great. I would love another opportunity. So, um, just be really cool to be, be a part of that team and uh, strive to win gold again. So, um, but at the same time, it's its not really what my focus is on uh, on a daily basis, just worrying about what I got to do here and let that take care of itself. What do you remember most about Sochi? Uh, winning gold. Uh, I think just... Uh, it was a different experience. Um, just going to uh, a different place in the world. Um, you know, being in the being in the village, being with all the other Canadian athletes, uh, sharing their experiences, hanging out in kind of the community lounges and whatnot, and uh, getting being part of obviously the the men's hockey team, but being part of the whole greater Olympic team and, and all the other athletes that have different journeys, different sports, different perspectives, different backgrounds. Um, you, know, you really feel um, you know that Olympic experience and what that's all about, and and it's. Uh, pretty special to be there. How do you push the uh, reminders of it out of your mind? You, you have Lululemon coming to you to do the shoot. It's getting closer to that. There's also, uh, you know, the COVID protocol at the centers and, and possibly that they might have to make up games. It seems to be in the, the news cycle quite a bit. I just try to control what I can control. I think you just try to be uh, in the moment as best you can. You wake up today and uh, get the kids ready for school or get my oldest ready for school, put my shoes on and try to get a coffee in me, get ready to go out there and have a good practice and prepare for tomorrow. I mean, you know, you're not trying to worry too much about what's ahead. Uh, obviously, I think deep down, you have an understanding of what's going on and around you in the world and what's uh, possibly ahead with, with the Olympics this year and whatnot, but you're just trying to stay present today and focusing on what you got to do to work hard and, and uh, be ready to play tomorrow. You guys are a 7-0 and uh, meeting after two periods. Besides Jack, what elements have gone into protecting that record? I think we've just 
Talked about, you know, carrying play, um, trying to control the game, especially when you got the lead. I really um, generating momentum. Obviously, you, you know, you want to increase your lead uh, and create those opportunities, but understanding just just being very, uh, very stingy and very tough uh, to play against in terms of uh, uh, the opponent having to create opportunities, uh, um, you know, getting uh, sustained possession in, in our defensive zone. So just uh, hammering on those key points, and I think, you know, we're the way we've been able to kind of roll line after line uh, really, you know, makes us that hard to play against uh, in those situations or when you have leads because uh, uh, just so much consistency and trust throughout the lineup. With the photo shoot, you mentioned some guys were ripping in. Do you get any feedback from Austin? Because that is more his forte. Yeah, uh, not so much uh, Matty, but Tagala guy said some comments about the coat, so I thought it looked pretty good. So I don't know, but uh, uh, yeah, some some uh, some different stuff this year. Uh, you know, they put their own spin and uni uniqueness on it. Obviously, uh, you know, like I said, I like to get it for real. So, um, but uh, we always have fun with that kind of stuff uh, within the locker room and amongst ourselves. So um, there's always good opportunities to kind of catch each other, um, whether it's something like that or, um, you know, just how much time we spend with one another.